Heavy downpours caused flooding and mudslides in parts of Madison County. The hardest hit area was Hot Springs. News 13's Megan Shearing joins us live in Madison County with tonight's top story. Megan, at least four inches of rain fell there today. That's what emergency officials are telling us, Darso. Heavy rains created a lot of problems, making it extremely difficult for DOT and emergency crews to keep up with all of them. We first ran into DOT crews in the shutting community. Quick moving waters from the afternoon storm forced debris into this storm drain, creating problems on Highway 2550. It was, once again, a true flash flood. You know, it came in 15 minutes and it's gone in 15 minutes. Once workers unclogged the drain, they moved on to clear this mess. Heavy rains washed away the mountainside on Lower Shut-In Road. And up the road in Grassy Creek, fire crews blocked off the road after high winds knocked down this tree. All through town and everywhere, everybody's having problems, so I don't know when they'll get out here. And back down in the shut-in community, Angel Rathbone had a problem of her own. Her front yard is flooded. It's went down a lot now, but we're waiting on the DOT to come to see what they can do about the ditch over there. That's where it's coming from. And down on River Road in Hot Springs, the remnants of the damage still lingers. Emergency crews had to temporarily shut it down to clean up several mudslides and wait for floodwaters to recede. And with the possibility of more rain in the future, uh, DOT and emergency crews are telling folks to pay close attention to how fast the rain actually falls here. They say that will be an indication of how fast the streams rise. Reporting live in Madison County tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.